Sonic the Hedgehog is directed by Jeff Fowler and it stars James Marsden as Tom Wachowski, the sheriff, um, Ben Schwartz as the voice of Sonic, and Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik. Now, when it comes to Sonic the Hedgehog, the okay, you know what? I'm just gonna talk about the I'm gonna talk about the the games before I get into the review. Now, when it comes to the when it came to the games, I didn't really play them. I mean, I've seen walkthroughs and playthroughs of uh, the different types of video games. I know there are different I know there are different types of video games. There's the original ones, and then there's like uh, the two, the, you know, the TV shows, the cartoons. You know, Sonic the Hedgehog is everywhere. I do know some materials and some stuff about Sonic the Hedgehog and the mythos and all of it. Um, thanks to uh, my best friend, actually, he and his twin brother um, are huge Sonic the Hedgehog fans. They play, <laughs> they play the, they play the games. I've seen them playing it on their phones. So you know, it's Sonic the, you know, Sonic. It's a, uh, it's a fun game. It's a fun mobile game. But of course, we live in a world where Hollywood, there's a movie about basically anything. I mean, we had a movie about emojis and we had a movie about truth or dare. We had, you know, movies that are based on, you know, games, on simple and fun games. And of course, we have to have a movie about Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, I'm just gonna start with, I'm gonna be start with the uh, the negatives and get them out of the way before I jump into the positives. The negatives, here's what I'll say about the negatives. There's a lot of bad things about this movie. Uh, my main issue with the movie is the plot. The plot of the movie is, The best way I could describe it, describe the plot of the movie, is uh, obnoxious. The movie is about Sonic the Hedgehog teaming up with this local town sheriff named Tom, played by James Marsden, and they escape the government, and then there's the despicable, evil Dr. Robotnik who tries to capture who wants to capture Sonic and use his powers for his evil robotic plans. And it's like, there's like no originality, there's no original material given into the plot. Like, I didn't really like the relationship or the chemistry between James Marsden and Sonic the Hedgehog because it's like buried underneath the rest of the movie. Also, the movie, this movie, uh, like references you know actors and other movies like um keanu reeves keanu reeves um what was the other two will smith vin diesel <laughs> like those are the actors that this movie mentioned at first i'm like okay okay it was funny uh, okay it's funny but then they kept like saying i feel like this or oh you know this actor or this it, it keeps mentioning and you know mentioning all these actors and all these movies and it, I felt like it was relying too much on it like okay is this and I was thinking to myself okay is the entire movie just gonna start mentioning and referring you know mentioning other actors names and referring to other movies because if it is then it's gonna get really it's gonna get really old real fast when it comes to Jim Carrey my god, I love Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is great. I love that. I love that guy. But he, listen, I like I said in the beginning of this video, I don't I know nothing about Dr. Robotnik. I don't know if he's supposed to be how he's portrayed in this movie, but in my opinion, it doesn't feel like you know, from, I haven't seen like any shows or, you know, I haven't seen the shows or the cartoons, whatever. I haven't seen any of them. I've only seen clips of different types of medias like video games, TVs, and movies. Uh, well, this, I think this is the only movie, but yeah, from different materials. And it doesn't... It felt like Jim Carrey wasn't playing Dr. Robotnik. It was 
Jim Carrey playing, you know, being Jim Carrey. Like, the same shtick that I've seen him play, like, in previous, you know, comedy movies that he's done. I mean, yeah, Jim Carrey does look like Dr. Robotnik. And, but, <laughs> and he has, and he does have the world's fakest mustache. He, he might as well, <laughs> Jim Carrey might as well start twisting and twirling his mustache. <laughs> really? Because you just gotta have to. <laughs> Another thing, um, this is not a spoiler, but, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, he has superhuman, you know, he has super, or super Sonic speed he has supersonic speed so of course you know he runs as fast you know so of course there's going to be slow motion scenes and those slow motion scenes okay this is a i don't know if i would call it a spoiler maybe a light spoiler but um anyway the slow motion scenes does remind me a lot of x-men days of future past with quicksilver i mean you know a slow motion scene played and then like, and then you know, some song is playing during that slow motion scene. It reminds me a lot of that too. I think I uh, mentioned uh, the humor, but yeah, the humor, it just felt too safe or too restricted. I, I don't know the right term or the right word, but those are, the, but you know, safe, restricted, both words in quotation, you know, quote unquote quotation marks. Um, I don't, I don't think I've laughed at any single joke in this movie. So the beginning of this movie starts off with Sonic narrating and giving, you know, some exposition. Okay, this is where I'm from. You know, this is who this person is. This is, you know, what that person is. This is. It, you just a bunch of narrations and exposition um, given to, you know, being fed to us, the audience, in like the first five to ten minutes of the movie. The visuals look good. Yeah, I like the visuals. Yeah, when Sonic, when Sonic, you know, the electricity starts sparkling. I, I did like the visuals. I mean, that's one positive. But yeah, I didn't really care about any of the characters. Not James Marsden, not his wife, not it was Jim Carrey dancing around, acting goofy. Jim Carrey looked like, he, he, it's like he just got out of, it's just like he got offset. He, like he just came back from, <laughs> from like some kind of cartoon. Yeah, like that's the best way I can describe Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik, a cartoon. <sighs> Cartoonish as hell. We are one month and a half into 2020, and so far, all I've, s I have yet to see a great film. I have yet to see a great film. This movie, there's nothing original, there's, Jim Carrey's cartoonish. I didn't like anything. I didn't the humor was just The humor they played it safe and they kept relying too much on We you know references to other actors and movies and I didn't like the relate there was like there was like only there was a lack of relationship or chemistry between James Marsden and Sonic the Hedgehog but I'm still waiting for A Quiet Place Part 2. Can't wait for that movie. I'm definitely looking forward to A Quiet Place Part 2. With all that being said, I'm going to give Sonic the Hedgehog... You know what? Screw my ratings. Screw my grading. <clears throat> Screw my grading. My ratings. I'm going to give Sonic the Hedgehog a bag full of wings. <laughs> I am so thankful that they changed the design for Sonic the Hedgehog from that to this. That's much better. I'm thankful for that. But before I end this 
review. Uh, I want to give you guys two huge announcements. Because James Bond uh, 007 No Time to Die is coming soon to theaters, I believe that's, that's not March, that's April. And also in April is The New Mutants. So we have the final, final m movie in the Fox X-Men universe thing. X-Men franchise before, you know, the whole, before the mutants are going to start appearing in the MCU uh, later down the line. So I will be reviewing all the X-Men movies and all the James Bond movies leading up to those two movies, The New Mutants and No Time to Die. So look forward to that. And thank you guys so much for this review. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe, share all this. Do all that great stuff. You guys are the best. And I will see you in my next movie review.